Hello guys, this is Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. My hands are hurting. So this video is about how to fix RX 5700 and 5700 XT problems. And well, cutting all the bullshit, let's go to the first fix. The first one is to do a clean install. Most of people update their drivers from really, really old versions of the drivers. For example, the, I, I, I've seen some people updating, for example, from the, the 18, 18 version of the drivers to the 20. And that may cause instability because the, the version of the drivers are too far away. Or some of the people, for example, are having issues with the, the, the current drivers they have, sorry, um, and they update to the new ones. And that may cause also issues because they were having problems before. Just download the software tool called DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. Use it to uninstall your drivers to do a, a really clean uninstall and then install the drivers again. This alone may and will fix most of your problems, most of the user problems we see currently. So yeah, this is the first one and the most important one. The second one is to update your BIOS. Most of people are still using really old BIOS and that may affect how the computer works with newer hardware, okay? RX 5700 and, and RX 5700 XT are not that new per se, they have some months, but people, most of people are using BIOS versions with more than that, way more than that. So if you are having problems, update your BIOS. That may help. The third one, and the really important one mostly, if you are using a full AMD build, is to update your chipset drivers. Just go to the AMD website, choose your chipset, for example, AM4, or if you are using a Threadripper, for example, TR4, if I'm not mistaken, uh, just choose your chipset, X570 motherboards, B450, whatever. Pick one and download the latest chipset drivers. This will also fix most of the user known problems, okay? So do it, it's simple, and you'll be glad to have the chipset drivers updated, okay? The next one is update Windows. The marvelous Windows which brings a lot of problems most of the times. Yeah, most of the problems are really Windows 10 related or Windows related and not really driver related. So update your, your Windows, it's really easy, just go to your settings, go there to update and security, update your Windows and that may really fix your problem because if you are using a really recent driver and the Windows is not prepared for that, it may cause instability and that's why. So update your Windows and be happy. The fifth one is use Windows High Performance Mode. Just go into your control panel, go to your power plans or power options and select the High Performance Mode. I've heard from some of my viewers that using for example the Balanced or the Power Saving Mode will in fact give you black screens from time to time and nobody wants a black screen. Really, use the High Performance Mode, you'll have most of the times you'll have better perfor performance in games because your CPU frequencies won't be balancing most of the times, they will be more static and that will help at least on frame time. Go there, Control Panel, Power Options, High Performance Mode. Simple. The last one is Disable PCI Express 4. This is only for people having an X570 motherboard which supports natively PCI Express 4 or um, an X470 motherboard because some of them support PCI Express 4 by BIOS update, okay? So this is only for the people who have those boards. If you have a B450, don't, you don't even need to care about this. If you have an Intel CPU, you don't even need to care about this, okay? But funny enough, I was having problems at least on the first drivers when I bought my RX 5700 XT Nitro. I was having problems and disabling the PCI Express 4, not disabling well, but change it for PCI Express 3, 
indeed fixed most of my problems. I had boot issues, not on ga not in gaming per se, I had some, some blue screens from time to time, but mostly on cold boot, my, my card would flicker a lot and, well, it was kind of fucked up. But by disabling PCI, PCI Express 4 and enabling the PCI Express 3, which, um, which doesn't affect at all the gaming performance because you can't really stress all the bandwidth with an RX 5700 XT or 5700, you can't stress all the bandwidth of PCI Express 3, at least for gaming, so the, the gaming performance won't be affected at all, maybe 1 or 2 FPS, which means really nothing. So yeah, if you are having cold boot issues or maybe some black screens and blue screens, disable the PCI Express 4. Go to the BIOS, go usually to the Advanced tab and disable the PCI Express 4. That will surely help you if you are having this kind of problems. And well guys, there's not much more to say, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video and also check this video on how to Adrenaline 2020 driver. So if you want to see an insight of how the 2020 drivers work, just watch this video, link is in the description and well, it's a pretty damn nice video, so go check it out. Once again, thanks for watching, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what your problem is or if this video helped you in some way. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.